Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Leo. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well, Leo. This can be any aspect of your life. Take it as it resonates. And I just want to let everyone know, if you are single and looking for a love reading specific to singles, you can check out my playlist. Uh, I do them every Monday. If you want to know what cards I'm using, anything else, I put the everything down below the video in the description. Just scroll to the bottom and you can see the cards I'm using. All right, Leo. What does Leo need to know? Clarity. Energy surrounding Leo. Oops, that one wants to come out. These two wanted to come out first. Yeah, some of you may end something with someone because they're breadcrumbing, not reciprocating. Ooh, or you have somebody reaching out suddenly. I'll see what that is. Yeah, there's some kind of a decision here. Ooh. Yeah, someone has some kind of regrets here for a decision they made. Maybe to stop talking or maybe you ended something. Um, I, I, it looks like a reconciliation, possibly, but it has to do with a decision. Yeah, you got a person who's going to communicate. They have some regrets. Okay, so I feel it's how they communicated. They didn't communicate something very solid or, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe you got angry at someone here, Leo. Oh, yeah. This could be yourself or Aries, Leo, Sag energy, maybe a Scorpio. Yeah, you got someone here who I feel has a little bit of regret. Yeah, this is someone who feels they missed an opportunity. Maybe they ignored you, okay. Yeah, you may have reached out and they ignored you. So there's an energy. Yeah, this is someone who didn't get what they wanted. There was a lack of success. You may have done this because you felt someone was just looking for attention. Okay, so yeah, you got you got someone in their head doing some thinking here. Let's see what this Six of Pentacles, what was this? What was this all about here? It looks like someone didn't send much of a message. Something simple, too small, wasn't clear. Now, there's some regret. Maybe it was something negative, too. Someone focused on the negative. Yeah, this is someone who was procrastinating about whether they should reach out. So they may all of a sudden decide to. I mean, because I do see the communication getting through here at some point. Uh, it's possible for some of you they're going to make a decision to do it. It could it could be in a, this could actually even be an apology for not communicating something clear, not putting more effort, more work, maybe being a little more creative. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, I I see that. Oh yeah, so it's a foundation coming down here. So this is that foundation. So this actually could be uh, someone who wants to reach out. They could be thinking of inviting you somewhere, but it has to do with the tower, maybe the end of a relationship. Okay, maybe you decided to end something with someone because of it. Maybe they didn't want to commit. There's something here. Oh, yeah, it's a judgment or a decision to do with an invitation, a party, a celebration. Mm, you may get an invitation or somebody, maybe someone reached out or... Or you invited someone to something, they didn't reply, whatever the situation. Yeah, it's a cycle ending. So this didn't go in someone's favor. They have some kind of regrets here. Oh, what is this all about? Cycle ending and a new one beginning. Yeah, someone lost control. They were trying to control something and they lost control. Maybe they got angry. The tower came down. Oh, yeah, the house shook. <laughs> What's this King of Wands energy? This could be them. Leo. I do see a Sagittarius energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Cancer. Um, Scorpio, Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, so there we are. King of Wands. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, so someone didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get that emotional fulfillment, you see. They tried to control something. Uh, they lost control. So it's somebody very controlling that lost control. Maybe they lost control of their temper. I don't know. It's some kind of a decision to do with um, gossip news, a celebration, event. Okay. Whatever that is. Just got my dog back from the groomer a while ago. And let me tell you, she's driving me crazy. <laughs> is it payback? <laughs> ignore her barking i may have to pause and deal with her yeah try one more time it's gonna fo stay focused here four of wands why is this here or pardon me four of cups four of cups 
Yeah. So this is a miscommunication, missed opportunity because of someone's decision. Yeah. Someone didn't get what they wanted. They made someone made a bad choice here. Uh, they either ignored you, maybe they rejected you. Okay, rejected an offer or vice versa. Yeah, this is someone who didn't get what they wanted. They were offering one cup, nothing more, looking for attention, you see. They didn't get what they wanted. Yeah, so they have regrets. So it has to do with this person, see. You both may have some kind of regrets. So we'll see how that goes because I'm seeing that twice. Yeah, someone who feels like there's no hope here, you know. They were focused. This is someone who was focused on some negative energy or something here. The cups that were spilled, maybe the things that, you know, they felt weren't right, whatever the situation. Sorry, everyone, I had to pause. <laughs> I'm telling you. The reading's too clear. I just can't see myself starting over. So I feel this person's definitely regretting something. Let's see what this Wheel of Fortune energy is here. Something didn't go in someone's favor. Yeah, so it's something you may have been waiting for, okay? You may have been waiting for something to happen, for something to end, uh, for things to shift. So I feel the ship has kind of sailed. You feel like there's no hope, Leo. That's kind of how I feel about this. Yeah, it's like, you know, too little, too late. I don't know. Maybe you were waiting, maybe they were late, maybe there was an invitation, maybe you went and they didn't show up, okay? Because I do see a judgment here twice. And I see the, um, the Five of Cups twice. Tell me about this Three of Cups. So there's definitely a connection here. So there was some kind of an event. Something happened. Uh, so, you know, there may have been some kind of gossip, something said. Um, but it has to do with this decision, this judgment to release, to let go. I feel, you know, I got to tell you, it's like there's something positive. Someone was procrastinating, weighing the pros and the cons. Uh, maybe someone was juggling. They had a choice between a couple people. Okay, with that Six of Pentacles energy, they may have been reaching out to someone else. Someone may have been juggling, maybe dating back to back here. But I do see a house, a home, a possible family, friends, some kind of event, celebration to do with the decision. I think someone's procrastinating, uh, inviting you to something so they could connect or other people brought two of you together here. This could be, you know, a friendship of some sort, but I feel as though something ended Something didn't go well. There's some kind of um, feeling of regret, sense of loss. Negative, definitely negative. Something didn't go well here. So it's an energy of like while you were waiting. Yeah, it has to do with waiting for a commitment. This has to do with finances, a house, a home, a family event. This is where people congregate. Someone may have left you waiting. Now they regret it. So maybe someone stood you up here. Um, okay, because that's what it looks like for some. But for others of you, I feel like there's this person is uh, deciding whether they should reach out. Not sure you're going to reciprocate, you see. Now, it could be a family event. I see some kind of truth. Something to do with success. A little aha moment here where someone kind of gets something here. What are they getting? What is this? Oh, that came out. Oh, yeah. Two people mirroring each other, manifesting. You were manifesting each other here. May have been some kind of truth. Maybe someone manipulated. Okay, a little bit here, a little manipulation because someone was juggling. They weren't reaching out or they were late, left you waiting, maybe even stood you up. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, it's like someone was pulled in two different directions here, you see, back and forth, on and off. Uh, why is the chariot here? Take you into that a little further because I feel it's a, you know an energy of using your power. You maybe you took your power off, you took off uh, from this person. Something was said, okay. This is someone who generally goes after what they want. They know what they want, but I feel like this is someone who uh, someone who kind of wants that emotional fulfillment. They want you to indulge them. I feel like you didn't indulge them. Maybe you were wait you were thinking of inviting someone, decided not to, okay. Somebody wasn't indulged. They didn't get something that they wanted. And it has to do with that emotional fulfillment. Why is that chariot here? 
There we go. Yeah, see, somebody was emotionally detached. They weren't focused. They might have been focused on something else. So is that Page of Pentacles energy, you see? There it is, confirmation. Someone lost control. They were pulled in two different directions. They weren't staying on course. They weren't focused. Now, it was something to do with driving, possibly, as well. This is energy of walking away. Yeah, walking away, moving towards something better, some emotional fulfillment. Some of you may have walked away from someone because they weren't focused on you, focused on other things, other people. Uh, could have happened at an event, even out in public. Others may have witnessed this. You know, someone may have been playing mind games or some kind of manipulation, too. They might have been, you know, something there. Could have been somebody else as well. Yeah, it's an energy of work, focusing on work. Somebody was, you know, so someone here who... I feel they were focused on something negative or something negative happened. And, you know, I feel like you walked away or maybe they did, you know, because they didn't get what they wanted. I don't know if you left them waiting or they left you waiting, but it's waiting for this, you know, it's like this cycle for something to end. Maybe you were waiting for someone to end a relationship. But I feel it's like the ship has sailed. It's like you're looking elsewhere. I'm out of here. That's what I feel. No more waiting. Okay. That's what I feel. Yeah, you're looking for a partner. I can see that energy of partnering up. I feel like it was public for some of you or at work. It may be in the workplace. Tell me about the four of wands energy. It's like the tower came down. Something very sudden happened. Sudden change of mind, change of course. Oh, yeah. So there's definitely something, someone moving away to avoid a disaster. You may have gone to visit someone, you know, maybe in, but it's an, I feel with this, it's someone deciding whether they should uh, move away to avoid a disaster. And someone was trying to avoid something. Okay. Um, whatever it is, maybe a fight, an argument or something. Uh, maybe there's other people involved. Someone may have been juggling. They didn't want to take you out. So they may have manipulated uh, to avoid something here. Maybe they weren't over someone. Maybe they were waiting for a cycle to end. Yeah, definitely you walked away by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, this is someone who's focused on work, focused on their money. Yeah, this is someone who wasn't putting in a lot of effort. So I actually feel this is someone, it could be a business owner too, or their place of business, whatever the situation. I do see someone theatrical, hardworking, a little bit proud. So it was a sense of pride or something possibly, or something theatrical. Maybe it was a, a musical event, a something here leo but i feel you got this king of pentacles this is generally someone financially stable practical very hard working yeah hmm yeah i think they're coming towards you you got a person heading towards you something has ended it's over there's a new cycle now i don't know if they're more stable uh, more grounded okay where there's something over yeah, they're thinking. Someone's making a decision. Someone regrets the decision they made here. Uh, they either ignored you. It's possible they invited you somewhere and then ignored you. You may have even had to travel, maybe at a hotel, even something like that. So it's definitely a disappointment. So I feel this person's in their head. And they're looking at this, you see. So it does look like a bit of a reconciliation or it's just a decision. See, they regret the decision they made. I feel they didn't know what to do. Uh, I do feel they manipulated. I don't know necessarily. Uh, they kept something to themselves here. See, this is someone who gets a lot of attention. They're keeping something to themselves. Uh, they were being cautious. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You're not so sure you see a, this person in your future. Or this is uh, someone else here. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? So someone grounded, practical, sensible, stable. We have a power couple here, though. Yeah. Don't have to have those energies in your chart. Uh, it's just uh, someone focused on their money. I feel like you've changed your focus. You're not focused. You've freed yourself, set yourself free. You feel like there's no hope. Okay, so I feel like whatever it was kind of negative. Yeah, so there's that King of Swords. And again, see, they're feeling that way. This person's coming in to talk to you. Uh, I, I feel like something wasn't intentional, but they manipulated something. Uh, for some reason, because they were trying to avoid a disaster. They were trying to avoid something. Okay, so I don't know whether they had other people or they were juggling. Uh, I feel they're coming in to speak that truth. Yeah, so this person wants this passionate new beginning. Uh, they regret something here. 
Yeah, See, this is somebody single, very independent. They kept something to themselves too. They were looking out for themselves, looking out for number one. This person actually sees you as the one. I feel like it's almost like they are, had already had their mind that they were going to choose you, uh, but they needed to look out for themselves, okay, for some reason. So I just can't see what it is. I don't know whether they were just juggling, there was other people involved, maybe family, friends, something here. Uh, but I see two people drinking from each other's cup. This person had to make a choice of some sort here. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So this person didn't treat you right. There was a lack of justice. They didn't play fair. See, I feel they didn't make a right decision. They didn't come in right. They didn't go about things the right way. So, yeah, whatever it was, it wasn't fair. So, yeah, I actually feel, too, you got someone here who... I don't know if they were married or if this took place at a wedding. It's something public. I can see the public energy. If it isn't public, online dating, but it feels public. It feels like something in the community. It's a decision or a judgment. This is someone who was about to release something. Or maybe they were coming towards you and then all of a sudden someone came in. Um, they may have had somebody come in from their past, coming in to make peace. So they had to manipulate the situation to avoid a disaster. Interesting energy. Uh, you guys will have to fill in those gaps. So, you know, see what this Nine of Pentacles is all about here, Leo. Yeah, I, I feel as though you, you know, you. I, I feel it's just this energy where they didn't treat you right. Like you're just grounding yourself being sensible. This is someone didn't come in right. They didn't treat you right. They didn't play fair. It wasn't fair. Okay, they made a bad decision. I feel they left you with like a bad taste in your mouth kind of energy. And I feel as though you're looking at this, you're looking out for yourself here. Maybe this person wasn't even really single, but it looks to me like they regret not choosing you. Okay, yeah. So this is an energy of someone who feels like a fool. This person feels like a fool. Now they took some kind of a risk here, but it didn't go very well. Oh boy, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. It's person was afraid to take a risk yeah so there's that tower coming down epiphany actually this goes here so yeah so i feel like this is what's happened they took some kind of risk it didn't pay off no they were keeping something to themselves they were looking out for themselves but i actually feel this person i think you felt this person was the one they were someone right for you now you're having this realization as you kind of look back at this they were looking out for themselves <laughs> Maybe they were looking out for you. I don't know. But whatever it is, they tried to avoid a disaster and it didn't go off very well. And in the results, they didn't get what they wanted. They didn't give you what you wanted. It wasn't fair. Uh, it was unjust is what I feel with the Six of Wands. Lack of success. Yeah. So maybe this person, I don't know, something to do with success, money, finances here too with that Ten of Pentacles, all that work energy, that building. Yeah, someone maybe, you know, left somebody out in the cold, ignored someone, treated them, didn't treat them well. Maybe they felt they weren't uh, financially stable, but there is an energy of someone who's financially stable, someone who has everything they need, very comfortable, enjoying the fruits of their labor. Great to take a risk here to do with that tower, the epiphany. Uh, something ended here. Yeah, and someone's feeling a little sense of loss, a little melancholy. little reflection, someone taking a pause and looking at that. See, they're going within here. Uh, someone took a risk with someone. Somebody may have even taken a risk with someone. If this is a past energy, I don't know what this is. Maybe even had children with someone. They chose the wrong person, made the wrong decision. Uh, they missed an opportunity. This could be something that, you know, a, a cycle, like a 10-year cycle, less or more. It could be a year or two years, you know, but it's a cycle. There's some kind of cycle, something long-term. This person's taking a pause, doing a little inter, uh, little introspection, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things from your point of view, vice versa. Yeah, so there's something here. Something was just off. No, but I actually feel this person felt you were just right. I feel they just made a bad choice. I don't know if they chose another person or they were looking out for themselves. 
But I do feel they were, you know, you felt this person was the one. And I feel that, you know, with that King of Swords here, they were being very strategic. They were, you know, up in their head, looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe they felt you weren't the right person at the time. It's something maybe to do with timing. You know, they made the wrong choice. They picked the wrong person. I feel someone chose some the wrong person. So we'll see what that is. Maybe even had children, but I see a little bit of melancholy, this epiphany. You know, some, this person's feeling a little sentimental here. You know, while they're just kind of hanging there. I feel they want to approach you. They want to approach and talk. They want to clear something up. They want to talk. So, yeah. They made the wrong choice. So whatever this is, it could be a bunch of different things. So let me just grab the cards here. Where's this going? And what is the point of this? Some of these readings sometimes, I don't know. Yeah, so they're coming in to communicate. This person's coming in very quickly to communicate. Okay. Yeah, they're coming in to talk. They want to talk to you, make an offer. Okay, so whatever that is, it could be just a, that seed, right? That communication to start something. Some of you, I feel, you know, like... You took a risk with this person that didn't pay off or they were afraid to. I have something to do with this energy, family, friends, a connection, two people. So, and avoiding the disaster. You guys will have to let me know. I'm going to grab some charms here. Ignore that dog. I'm crying out loud. Yeah, there's a little reminiscing. That's that little bit of melancholy. Something to do with the past. Now, it could be to do with this Mercury retrograde energy. I think we're just about finished here. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, this is about seeing. Somebody didn't see. Somebody didn't see something right. Uh, they made a bad decision. They failed to recognize something here. So we have that, yeah, the seahorse. I see two hearts. I see a ring, a crown, and a high heel. That's about taking a step forward. So there's this forward move and taking this. This could be an energy of someone where it was time to take things to the next uh, level, take the next step in a relationship and introduce friends and family. And I feel that it didn't happen and they have some kind of regret. Okay, so it's an interesting energy. You may know their family or friends, though, like it's possible. But whatever this event was, it that's where there's this aha moment, this idea where they manifest that they came up with some kind of idea here to manifest this and it didn't go very well. Yeah, there's possibly children involved. I see a child. So someone may have children. There's something to do with children. A uh, child. They may even had a child with someone and chose the wrong person. It didn't go well. There was a lack of success. They may have chased somebody because they were, you know, wanted someone who was successful. I feel they are, so I don't know why. But yeah, I mean... They wanted somebody, you know, that Ten of Pentacles energy. And that's what they were looking for. But now they're seeing you this way, you know, or they're seeing the reality of the situation. So you'll have to let me know. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race or some kind of movement. Uh, this person may have relocated, moved. Could be somebody who's moving back to town as well towards family. Maybe making a decision to reach out. So this is quite interesting uh, energy here. I'm going to grab some letters. So I do see a ring. So this is somebody, somebody circling back after reminiscing. But it's about that taking that step forward. Uh, about seeing, okay, and that crown. Oh, yeah. So I see an H, an L, a Y, and an M. Oh, Leo. Oops, too many. I don't want 10. There we go. Oop, there's that... Justice card, fistful of money, yeah. something to do with money. I think this person chose somebody who was financially stable. I feel they were too, but they were looking to partner up with someone like that. They chose the wrong person. They failed to see uh, your energy. They failed to see the Queen of Pentacles, okay? That's how they see you. Somebody very independent, you see? Yeah. This person may be looking to see if you're single. They want to have this new beginning with you. It's possible. No, you guys will have to let me know. So I see an H, a Y, a V, an L, an M, and two Cs. All right, I'm going to pull out one more. It's saying one more. Oops. And I ended up with a four-leaf clover. There's some kind of good luck here. It's not a uh, wheel of fortune. So maybe this was uh, something, you know, that was kind of meant to be this way, to do with the path. That wheel of fortune energy with that four-leaf clover. Some kind of good luck. 
So good luck is on your side regardless. So it's up to you if you want this. It's your decision, okay? Um, I feel it'll be yourself here. So I don't know. They're coming in quick to communicate. Uh, you may get a communication from this person. You may have known each other when you were young or they have children. But there's definitely a lot of sentimental energy. Wish you guys the best, Leo. Take care and we'll see you soon.